A pair of local state lawmakers is trying to make students really learn from their mistakes by imposing community service as an alternative form of school punishment. Capitol correspondent Pat Bailey has details for us now. He joins us from the Capitol newsroom. Sounds like an interesting idea, Pat. Yeah, it certainly does, Liz, depending on who you ask, of course. Now, one lawmaker told me this was a local district, Gilderland, in fact, who helped pitch this idea. Another superintendent told me he's all for it, while one student says, why not? Because many other students don't take out-of-school suspensions right now too seriously. Let's give some constructive, productive work to those students should there be an out-of-school or in-school suspension. Assembly member Pat Fahey says students who are suspended from school often sit home and may enjoy the time off from school. She believes if the punishment was tougher, then students may think twice before acting out. Let's say they're acting out because they don't want to be in school. This is saying, no, there's no rewards here. You're not going to be home playing video games. You're going to be out um, helping and, um, and volunteering. Last year, the Schenectady School District handed out 1,226 suspensions, many to repeat offenders. Superintendent Larry Spring says community service attached to those suspensions is a great idea. So from a learning standpoint, could the community service be more effective than a suspension? Yes, you know, I think very much so. You know, the, the notion of community service allows us to connect the consequence logically to the offense. One of Spring's students says some of his classmates may look at the community service and the work that comes with it more seriously than they do now when they get an in or out of school suspension. Some people probably take that as a joke. Like, oh, I don't feel like going to school, so they're going to force themselves to get in trouble just to stay home. So, yes, I'll say some kids take it as a joke. Now, in this bill, which I am told has bipartisan support in both the Senate and the Assembly, the district would be the ones responsible to police the program. But I'm also told many already, many districts already have relationships with after school programs, so the plan could easily be phased in. In the Capitol Newsroom, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.